evens are trading here now, guys. 82 evens are trading. Paper comes in a big seller. 81 evens are trading here now, guys. 79. What is going on, traders? I'm going to be making a quick video about how, or hopefully it's quick, uh, probably more just demonstrating my uh, lack of proficiency with graphic design more than anything else. But um, someone asked about the control bar and how I've made these custom buttons up here. And as you can see, um, so for example, the risk reward tool kind of looks a little, more, little bit more like trading view. Uh, or if I want to say use the uh, compact tool windows to measure the candlestick open high low close along with how much volume is in a candle or something like that I've got shortcut and buttons for it or you know if I want a single maximized uh, chart window or you want to split it into uh, fourths or whatever RTH ETH sim mode right replay mode button turning on your uh, this would turn on my uh, display like my actual trades on the chart. This would turn on on a chart um, the showing the orders, right? So so like the short orders and position. Trade mode on or off, right? Attach a DOM, attach a trade window, add a symbol alert in Sierra chart for something that you're trading, right? Um, I've got that right clickable. But anyway, um, you know, the different study collections that will load different charts. Uh, the draw tools, power or exit Sierra chart, lock my Sierra chart application, you know, that way someone can't just walk into the office, start clicking, right? I've got kids, that kind of thing. And so here in uh, the control bar button, if you right click it and select customize control bar, these are the things that are in here. And for each one of these buttons, you can go, um, you can go create a custom uh, you know bitmap image and so the bitmap image uses a 24 by 24 pixel but okay let's let's just look at this here's the properties so what, what I did was I selected it then selected properties and then here I'm you're gonna be saying you're changing this from maybe use caption or something to use image then you set the image right and then so the images go to th this uh, drive and folder so uh, the C drive Sierra chart folder graphics folder and then the buttons folder okay and if you have graphics that are BMPs or bitmaps that are 24 by 24 um, you, you can make any uh, bitmap picture or graphic that is as long as it's 24 by 24 again you can make anything you want and display it as a custom looking button okay so so what I like to do for this is all right, let's let's just open up uh, let's open up Google. Just type in convert image to BMP. It should come up with this here, convert to BMP. This is image.online-convert.com. Okay, click on this. All right, and it's going to take you to this website. So what you have to do is you need to change so for for this area here, change the width and the height to 24. Now everything else you don't have to touch. And then you've got to choose a file. So, but but before you choose a file, so what this is going to do is let's say you, there's an existing graphic out there that you want to make a, a bitmap for. Um, this is going to render it quite nicely into the bitmap form. So let's just say you have a lock uh, button graphic. So this one here um, let's see, we're going to look for something that is really easy to change. All right, let, let's say you wanted to create a power button that looks like this. All right, let's open image in a new tab. All right, let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, let's save image. Let's say we do want to use this, and we're going to call it green power button. Go to downloads, okay, save it. All right, it's saved down there. Now let's go find that file, green power button, okay. Boom, it uploaded it pretty quickly. All right, it's 24 by 24, which is what Sierra chart requires. We start this, it processes it. 
So I haven't slowed anything down here. I haven't cut it. This is how fast it is. It's really easy. And then it downloads it to your uh, downloads folder. And so all you got to do now, it's done, is you've got to go in here to, let's see, we'll show it in the folder. Here's the green power button. It's a bitmap file. That's the one we originally downloaded that was a PNG. And then we rendered this one, the green power button. So let's right click it and open with paint. So there's the button and that's what it looks like. That's pretty good. That looks nice. So let's view it. Let's zoom in. You notice how around the edges it, um, it has this white. Well that white is not a transparent background. The transparent background in Sierra chart is 192. So you need to go in and you need to find, I don't know, a color and then edit it. So this is 195. Let's drag this down see if we can get 192. All right, worked. We got 192. And then let's use this fill in. Boom. Oh. oh, that's interesting. A lot of shading differences here, right? Because this is fill area with color. That's OK. We'll just, I guess, do this. Anything that's lighter. Oops. We'll get rid of. God, I can't believe I'm doing a graphic. Essentially, what feels like graphic design or how to make little pictures, bitmaps. Is that really what's happening today? Jeez. Almost done. One reason not to do too much work and just hold down on the left click button on your mouse is when you undo it, boy, all the work gets undone. So, what a pain. All right, we're getting close here. Now we got to test to see if this button looks okay. It's not really centered, is it? So maybe pick a different um, button to render that one that's centered and everything like that. But okay, now we at least have the transparent background color for Sierra chart, at least most of the places we do. Let's see. There's that one. Oh, you know what? We'll undo that one. That one's probably going to look good there. Okay, go to view. Zoom out again. Let's see if it looks decent. Yeah, that looks decent. All right. So then go save as a bitmatic picture. Go into your operating system, C folder, C drive, Sierra chart graphics buttons we'll just use this button three green we'll call it green power button we'll save over this because um okay we'll save it and then let's see let's get out of here and now let's go let's just get out of all this now let's go to this customize control um, bar, right click menu, let's go into Sierra chart, exit button, go to the properties, set the image, what did we call it, button three, green power button, there you go, go ahead and open it, click OK, click OK again, hey there you go, we have a custom button in there now, so you see how easy that is? Um, takes a few steps, but it's, you know, it's kind of fun to play with this sort of thing and, and uh, you know, kind of customize some of these buttons to look like the thing that it actually does, right, for you, based on how you have these configured, right? Um, so, you know, it, it this is super, I, I, I find this to be, I can remember this a lot easier with uh, custom graphics than I can just uh, descriptions um, it's this is just a lot faster just going to a graphic for me so and it looks cooler so have a great uh, trading week um, happy holidays to all of you and uh, please like subscribe and share the videos if they're useful to you thank you very much take care